Hi everyone! Today we're going to talk about ways in which you can get the most out of Planoly's Pin Planner by understanding how to use it on mobile. Let's get started! Planning on Pinterest just became a whole lot easier with Planoly's Pin Planner on your mobile device. Here's how. If you've already linked your Pinterest account via Planoly's web dashboard, you can access your Pin Planner right on your mobile device by clicking on the More icon, the three dots at the bottom of your main screen. Then tap the Switch Accounts icon. Here, a screen will pop up that allows for you to toggle between your IG accounts and your Pinterest accounts. Tap on the Pinterest icon and choose the Pinterest account you'd like to view, if you have multiple ones linked. Once you've chosen your desired Pinterest account, it will take you to your main Pin Planner view. Here you can see your library of unscheduled pins, scheduled pins, and published pins. Let's take a look at all three and dive into ways that you can begin uploading and scheduling your pins. First, we'll start by uploading content. To upload content to your library, simply tap on the plus icon in the middle of your screen. Click on albums and then select a single photo to upload or select multiple photos to bulk upload. Once you've selected content to upload, it's time to start scheduling. Manually open each pin by tapping on it and then enter the corresponding information your pin title, pin description, and pin URL. Then select the board you'd like for it to pin to and select the date and time to schedule it. Tap Save. Your pin is now scheduled and will automatically publish for you. You can also create a new board when choosing a board by hitting the plus icon at the bottom of the screen. You'll also have the option of making it a public board or a secret board. Way to go, you've started scheduling pins. If there are pins that you've recently scheduled but you want to unschedule, there's a way to do that too. You can unschedule your scheduled pin at any time by selecting the pin and tapping the schedule toggle off and tap on save. Now that we have some unscheduled and scheduled pins, let us show you all the ways you can view your pin planner. We previously mentioned your library, scheduled, or published views. Here's a quick breakdown of each. Your library view shows all unscheduled pins that you've uploaded and is indicated by a pink U icon at the top left corner of each pin. Your scheduled view shows all scheduled content and is indicated with a blue S icon along with the scheduled board name, time, and day. And your published view shows all pins that have already been published with its board name and the day and time it was published. The calendar view on mobile is officially here. Tap on the calendar icon within your pin planner to access your calendar view. Here you can view content by month, as well as gather additional information on your currently scheduled pins. Tap on a specific time within your calendar dates to adjust or view the pin title, pin description, pin URL, board, and day and time that your pins are currently scheduled for. Now you can have an easy overview of your pins that are currently scheduled now, let's dive into your analytics and learn how to read them. Viewing your analytics is simple and easy on the app as well as our web dashboard. First, you'll start by tapping on the analytics icon, three little bars on the bottom right side of the screen. Here, under the pins tab, you can view your analytics by the last seven, 30, or 90 days, or choose a customizable date and time frame. You can then sort by impressions, engagements, close-ups, link clicks, and saves to see how your content is performing across the board. Tap on the Boards tab to see how your Pinterest boards are performing. You can choose a desired board from the Select a Board drop-down menu and see how pins on your selected board are performing. You can view up to your last 100 pins. Here, you can view the number of pins on the board and the number of followers on that board, along with impressions, close-ups, link clicks, and saves for that board. On the Overview tab, you can see a breakdown of your audience and content. Below Audience, you can view your total audience, your total number of followers, and your engaged audience. Your engaged audience includes all users who have engaged with any of your pins. Below content, you can see your all-time stats of how many pins, link clicks, impressions, and saves you've received from your Pinterest account. We hope this video helps you better navigate our Planoly Pin Planner. Stay tuned for more tips and tricks on videos to come.